Hello, thanks for clicking on my video. Welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. If you are new here, consider joining the family by hitting that subscribe button and remember the notification bell so that you can be reminded when I upload a video. My name is Jenny and on this channel I create budget-friendly home decor that's easy to do. So if you want to see some of my creations, keep watching. Thank you all again so much for tuning in and watching another one of my videos. I am going to be sharing with you today 10 farmhouse DIYs that I am creating to style in a kitchen. So from the Goodwill, I did pick up this piece. This was $2.99. I knew exactly what I wanted to do with this. This is so big, but it is perfect for what I'm going to create. Also for this first DIY, I'm going to be using some of these um, metal galvanized numbers from the Dollar Tree and from Michaels I have this bag of little beads and this bag is a dollar and ninety nine cent I also picked up some of these craft sticks now these are small but they have like the round end and then they become pointy on the other end I'm going to show you what they look like and this pack here was like two dollars and fifty cent but these are perfect for what I want to create. I'm also going to be using some Waverly White Chalk paint and some of my Burnt Herber acrylic paint. I'm also going to be using a little thumbtack as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint this using the Waverly White Chalk paint. I'm not going to paint all the way up the handle because I am going to get some of my painters tape to tape it off at some point because I want the top of the handle to be that um, burnt herb color. Now what I'm going to create with this piece is a false clock to style in the kitchen. So what I'm going to do now is just tape off the part where I'm going to start using the other color and then I'm just going to take that burnt herb paint and paint over that handle and I am doing the front and the back. So after I get that complete, I'm just going to pull off the tape and that way I will have the line where I wanted the color to change. And then what I'm going to do next is just take that burnt umber color and I'm going to paint over these sticks and one of those beads out of that pack. So after I get that painted and sit and let those dry, I'm just going to distress around this piece just to bring back some natural color and some spots and just to give it more of a farmhouse distress look. So what I did with the sticks was I cut one of them a little shorter than the other one and then I took eight of them and cut those down really short. And so now what I'm going to do is just find my center. I'm just going to use a ruler to get an estimate of where I want the center of this board to be. And so what I'm going to do is just glue that little bead right in the center and then I'm going to take that thumbtack and I'm going to add some hot glue and just place that thumbtack right in the middle. The next thing I'm going to do is take those letters from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to use the 12, the 6, the 3, and the 9 and I'm going to place those on the board how I am going to glue them down. Once I have them placed where I want them, I am going to take some hot glue and just tack them down. And so after I get all of these tacked down, the next thing I'm going to do is take the small eight little sticks that I painted and I'm going to place those on the board in between the numbers where I want them to be and then once I get that lined up how I want it. I am going to take the hot glue to attach those. When I seen this large cutting board at the Goodwill, I knew I wanted to create a false kitchen clock. So now what I'm going to do is just start attaching those using the hot glue. And then once I get that complete, I'm going to take my last two 
craft sticks and I'm going to place those where I want them hot glued as well and then I'm going to take my glue and attach those. And then after I get that complete, I did print using my Cricut Joy the same time to eat. I just used a regular font so you could use the Dollar Tree letters for this. And once I get that transfer over, I am going to put the string back that I took out of the top of this cutting board so that I can hang it back up. And I think this turned out so cute and I cannot wait to style this in my home. was the perfect size board to create this false clock and I do love how it turned out. And so now I'm going to get started on the next two DIYs. And what I'm going to be using for those DIYs will be these two signs that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. One says gather and one says family. And I absolutely love these signs. I'm just going to switch them up just a little bit because I didn't like the frames. And I'm going to replace them using these wood pieces. I believe these are 12 by 5s from Michaels. And these were $2.22. I'm going to use some of these sawtooth hooks so I can be able to hang these and what I'm going to do is just pop off the wordings and all you have to do is just slide something under there they pop off really easy you might not even have to slide anything under there and I'm going to be using these two frames in my next two DIYs so what I'm going to do is I am going to paint over those with that burnt herbal color even though they already seem to be that color I just want to make everything even and I'm painting these two boards using that Waverly White chart paint. And then after I get that complete, what I'm going to do is just attach my warnings to these white boards. And I thought they would look good up against the white boards with a little bit of the white showing for a border. It just gave it a nice clean high end look. And so after I attach both of the wordings, what I'm going to do is flip them over on the back side to just attach those hangers and those sawtooth hangers are at Walmart and they are only like a dollar and 19 cent but they have different sizes and different prices so they're easy to attach I'm just going to add them in the center and they come with the little nails and I'm just going to place the little nails in the holes and just hammer them in and this is just the option so that I can be able to hang these And so after I add the hangers, this is complete and I love the simplicity of these and they go great styled with that false clock and I love how they turned out. And so now I'm going to get started on the next two DIYs and what I'm going to be using is those leftover frames from the previous DIY where I pull the words off. I have some jute cord. I'm going to be using two of these pretty bunches that I picked up from Michaels for $2. I absolutely love these lemons and this pretty floral bunch here. I'm going to be using the same two color paint choices. Now what I did was once you remove the staples from the back these just fall apart and the pieces come apart and the paper just lift up but that's what I wanted to do remove the paper and then all I have to do is just glue those frame pieces back together and so what I'm going to do is just sand down these pieces from the spots where I pull the staple out of and then I'm just going to start gluing my frames back together the way they were using some hot glue These two are going to be really simple. I wanted to still use the frames that I pulled the words off from the previous DIY. And I just thought this would be a cute way 
to display those pretty bunches that I picked up from Michaels and I can style those pretty florals in my kitchen to give it a nice pop of color for the summer. So after I get the frames put back together, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the frames using that burnt herb color and I'm going to paint the wood pieces using that Waverly White Char paint. And so after I finish getting these painted, what I'm going to do is start painting the two wood pieces. And I'm just going to give one side one good coat of the Waverly White chart paint. I thought those pretty bunches from Michaels would look nice. Um, displayed in front of this clean white color and so after I get this complete what I'm going to do is just hot glue those backings back to the frame and so you can hang these you can add some jute cord but I'm not going to add anything to the back of mine because I may just hang these up using some command strips since I do like to use the command strips and so what I'm going to do now is just prepare my florals and what I'm going to do is just take the jute cord and wrap it around the stems and I'm just using some hot glue to make sure that the jute cord stays tagged down and then after I get both of the stems wrapped in the jute cord I'm just going to attach them to the frames and I'm just going to use some hot glue to tack them down for this one I'm just going to bend the stem a little bit just to give it a little design and then after I attach that these two are complete and I love how these turned out these are so simple, but they are so pretty. And I absolutely love the lemon, so I am going to go pick up some more of those and create something else to kind of style in the kitchen because I really love the lemons for the summer. And so now I'm going to get started on the next two DIYs and what I'm going to be using for those is two more of those boards that I picked up from Michaels for $2.29. I have some jute cord. I'm going to be using two wood utensils. Now you can pick these up from a Dollar Tree, but I got these for like seven in a pack for $5 at Ross. And I'm going to be using a few pieces off of this bunch here. And I got this from Walmart for $0.97. Cent. And I'm going to be using some white chalk paint and some of that maize color yellow paint and so i'm going to use that color to paint both of these wooden utensils paint those boards using that white chalk paint and after i get everything completely painted i'm just going to pull off the pieces that i'm going to be using And then I'm also going to take some jute cord and cut two pieces just so I can create two small bows. These two DIYs are simple as well, but these may be my favorite. So after I get those complete, I'm just going to add everything together. I am going to add my hangers in the back by adding some jute cord. And then I cut up two Dollar Tree craft sticks and just painted those white to cover up the jute cord for extra security. And then once I get that complete, what I'm going to do is attach those wooden utensils to the front of these boards and I'm just going to use some hot glue to attach those. And so after I attach my utensils to the wood pieces, I'm going to take those two little jute cord bows and hot glue those right over the holes 
so that they won't show and then I'm going to take my greenery pieces and just hot glue those down to each one of the utensils and I'm just making sure that I pull off the backings so that they can lay flat and then I started adding two of the little rosebuds but I decided that maybe three will look better so what I end up doing was pulling off two more and just adding three to each one of those and then once I get that done this is complete these may be simple but I think they are really cute And so now I'm going to get started on the next two DIYs and you cannot get more simple than these next two DIYs but they are absolutely cute and what I'm going to be using is two of these pencil holders from the Dollar Tree I also am going to be using some decorative rope and I have two of these galvanized little trays out of the craft section what I'm going to do first is I am just going to take these two pieces and hot glue two rows of jute cord inside of both of them I thought this would be a simple tray to display in a kitchen or anywhere just to add some little extra decor so after I get two rows of jute cord wrapped in both of them I am going to take some of that fix all glue from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to add it to the bottom of those pencil holders as well as some hot glue and I'm just going to attach them right to the center of the bottom of both of the trays And so what I'm going to do is just attach some of the rope all the way at the bottom of both of the pencil holders. And then after I get that rope attached, these DIYs are complete and they were simple, but they are really cute to display some really cute the core on top some florals or you can use these for anything to display in your kitchen or anywhere but I think they are really simple and they are really cute and so now I'm going to get started on the last DIY for today and what I'll be using for that DIY is one of those wood pieces from the Dollar Tree I'm also going to be using some pieces of floral that I pulled off a 97 cent bunch from Walmart. I also have two of these hooks out of my Walmart pack that I pay like two bucks for and I get different sizes. I'm also going to be using one of those little sawtooth hooks from Walmart as well. And I'm going to paint this wood piece using that Waverly White Shark Paint. And so I'm just going to take my Dollar Tree sanding block to distress around the edges. And then after I get that complete, I'm going to take that hanger and attach it to the back of this. I use my Cricut Joy to print um, this little pot and the word holders. But you can use the stickers from the Dollar Tree for this. And I'm just going to get that transferred over. And then once I get that complete, I am going to take those little pieces of floral and just style those with some hot glue right in the center of that pot. And then once I get that complete, I'm just going to take those two hooks and screw them right in the bottom of this wood piece so that I can hang some pot holders on here. And then once I get both of those um, hooks screwed in at the bottom, this DIY is complete. I think this is really cute. It is a cute way to display some pot holders. I absolutely love how it turned out. Thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. If you like this video, please remember to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. Here is a second look of all of the DIYs that I created today. As always, in the comment box below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And until next time, my friends, stay safe and I will see you in the next video.